Hello, welcome to my channel X Foley, and this is Prachita Priya Chota. So, in this channel, we are going to learn how to code, and um, we are going to use Vita Junior. So, the projects are from Vita Junior program that, um, and we are using code.org um, to code the code all the projects. Okay, so let's get started. First, let's see the specific tasks first. When you start the project, you will be presented with an empty screen. Okay. Set the background to color brown. We have to set the background to brown color. You have to grow rows of vegetables for Richard. You know Uncle Richard, right? In project 5 also, they have told us who is Uncle Richard. Create 5 rows of different vegetables and there should be one type of vegetable per row so row means like this so there should be vegetables create create the rows according to the rules below tomatoes should not be planted next to carrots brinjals should not be planted next to onions onions should not be planted next to carrots tomatoes should not be planted next to brinjals um yeah so these are the rules I think this, um, yeah, so these are the rules we have to follow. And I think capsicum can be between, uh, with any one. So the story, yeah, yeah, capsicum can be grown next to any plant, any other plant. Okay. So this is my project um, that I've chosen, that I've made. So this, um, so I have completed the specific task that I should have done. Set the background to brown. I have set the background to brown. And um, I also use the following rules given. So I'll just explain one by one. First, let's go into the for loop. The for loop. So for loop is given in the option control over here. As you can see, for this is the for loop so this loop um, is yeah for for loop creates a loop consisting of an initialization expression a conditional expression an incrementing expression and a block of statements executed for each iteration of the loop okay so for and then variable i so what is this variable i so I have used the default variable, variable i. It's already given over here. You can see that i. So I have used the same variable. And this is 50. So what is this 50 number? Let's just see. First we'll experiment and then let's see the, let's conclude what is it. So I'm going to increase the number and see what will happen. Reset and run. Okay. Now as you can see that all the vegetables have moved to the right side. It had more, um, more of x axis. That means i is the starting point of the vegetables, all of the vegetables. Okay, so i, as you increase i, the vegetables will go to the right side. Now, let's just add suppose 200 or 300 is also fine. So, see, the vegetables had gone even more to the right. So the x is increasing of so i is the starting point of the vegetables we can conclude this next i'll just reset and run i is less than 400 i is less than 400 what does this mean so <coughs> i the number i and this is the symbol less than as you can see here so i should not be more than 400 if it goes more than 400 then um, it's not visible because the canvas is 400 as you can see it's yeah one and and the y you can see the y right here and x right here so the y is 400 approximately yeah 400 so this is the canvas so i cannot go more than 400 if it goes then it will not read this code so in for loop that all the conditions should be true then only it will go inside and read this okay 
Now next i is equals to i plus 50. Now let's as I told that we'll experiment first. So I'm going to increase the number and see what will happen. Okay, you, you can see that the gap between all the vegetables has been increased, right? So we can, um, we can say that 100 is the gap between each. Uh, so we have given that i is equals to 50. So i, the starting point is 50. You can see that, right? It's approximately 50. Yeah, 51, 49, between that, 50. And um, i is the starting point of the vegetables. So 50, perfect. And then it's gone to 150 approximately, as you can see. Yeah, 150. 150. And then next is 250. 250. And then next is 350. You can see that. Yeah. So the, yeah, there's 100 gap between each vegetable. You can, so this 100 means that first vegetable is 50. Then adding 100 to that is 150. So the gap is increasing. The second vegetable's placement is 100 after the first vegetable. Okay. So we understood that. So I'm just going back. <coughs> okay. It's regular again. Where, do, where tomato is going to create sprite. We, we know that where tomato is going to create sprite means that the tomato is a variable that we have set it and then create sprite. We have created the sprite. And even draw sprites show the sprites visible. Draw sprites is a function used for making the vegetables or anything visible for us. I, comma, 50, comma, 20, comma, 20. Let's see what is this. So first, um, yeah, create sprite the, and in brackets, x position, y position, width and height. x means x position, y means y position. Okay. So just to read that I was showing. Yeah. Now, what I, we have understood that I is the, I is defined as 50 in this program. So now let's just add, add like 100 and see what will happen. Okay, we, ha we can see that the tomatoes, only the tomatoes have moved to the right. So, th so this means that I, now I guess it is at 150 position. Yes, it is at 150 because I is 50 and then plus 100 is 150, right? So the tomatoes have moved their rows to 150. So we can conclude that I is the X position. Now going back. And what is this 50? So let's just, let us just experiment first. So I'm gonna make that 150 into 100. <clears throat> okay, we can see that the tomatoes have moved downwards. That means as we have already learned that this is 400. So as you increase the numbers um, in the Y position, then the object or the sprite will keep moving down. <coughs> we know that. So I have increased it. That means it went down. So the Y position, the tomatoes, tom the whole tomatoes have moved to the Y position. It's little more down. So I have increased it. So it has gone down. So we can conclude that the second number is the y position. Okay. And um, width and height. So these 20, the animation is a default one that we cannot increase or decrease. So whatever you do, it's the same number. So even if you give 100, it doesn't change. Yeah, the animation is like that only. So we cannot do anything. Okay. So we have understood the numbers and now let's see the second number. Second, where onion is equal to create sprite in brackets i comma 125 comma 20 comma 20. So what is, we have already learned that let's, that uh, i is the starting point. So if we had 100, the onions will move to the right. So we know this already, just wanted to show again. And what is this 125? Okay. Let's just see. 125 is the y position. 
so we'll just experiment once more okay so we we can see that the onions the onions have it's, i don't know for some yeah yeah i understood the onions are hiding behind the capsicums that's the reason we are not able to see them okay so let me just decrease it so that we can see one suppose 150 yeah we can see the onions they have moved the position right it it has gone down so this is the y position same thing so that means that i have kept a gap of 50 between each row of vegetables 125 minus 50 is 75 so i have kept 75 gap between each vegetable each kind of vegetables okay now let's go to set animation. What is the set animation? So tomato dot set animation is the program used for making the animation. In in the project file, they didn't show the set animation because in class seven we learned to, how to set animate. So how to animate? So we we have added this one more thing in this project. Now let's see. Um, first tomato dot set animation is so the computer only reads whatever is in the um, brackets so let's just backspace and suppose if you write onion then onion is seen doesn't really matter what you write like here tomato it doesn't matter what you write but it only reads what are there over here in the inverted commas which are in the back brackets okay so i it's a default animation that was given to me tomatoes this one onion capsicum brinjal and carrot these are the default ones that have been already given okay now um let's go to the rules i've told that i'll explain it afterwards so the rules were that tomatoes should not be planted next to carrots and tomatoes should not be planted next to brinjals. So that's the reason I have planted tomatoes next to onions because the rule doesn't say that tomatoes should not be planted next to onions. So it's safe to plant tomatoes next to onions. Next, we have the onions. So onions should not be planted next to carrots and onions should not, should not be planted next to brinjals. Brinjals should not be planted next to onions means that onions also cannot be planted next to brinjals. It's the same. So not brinjals or not carrots. So that's the reason I have planted it be beside capsicum. And as we know that capsicum is a universal one, that capsicum can be grown be next to any other plant. So it doesn't really matter. And it's the same because capsicum can be planted next to carrot also and onions and tomatoes and bridges so i have added carrot next it's your wish um the order is your wish it doesn't really matter okay the next is carrot so carrot should not be planted next to onions and tom carrot should not be planted next to tomatoes so the rule doesn't say that brinjal should not be planted next to carrots so that's the reason i have planted carrots beside brinjal okay this is clear right so the for for loop the rules of the the rules everything specific task to complete everything is clear right so now let's go to the next one function draw this is a simple one so background brackets rgb Okay, so in uh, project 5, they have mentioned the term RGB. So, RGB means red, green, and blue. And what are these three numbers? So, let's find out. So, RGB, and these are respectively. So, the first number is for red, the second number is for green, and third number is for blue. Now, let's experiment. So, suppose if you keep 300... You can see that the red quantity has in been increased in the background. And now, suppose if you add this more like 400 and I'll just decrease this number red so that we can see it clearly. 
Now you can see that the green quantity has been increased in the background. So RGB as you increase the number the so first number if you increase then the red quantity will be increased in the background or the shade whatever you wish for and if you increase the second number then the green quantity will be increased and if you increase the third number the the blue quantity will be increased so let's just um do it uh 400 now let's see you can see that the background has more quantity of blue so you can just add um like suppose 154 40 and then 30 or let's say 80 so let's see now it's a mix of colors right you can see that it's different shade of color now how should we find out which um number should we keep for the specific color so it's nothing to worry first we have to search on google rgb color picker okay and then you find this you find this graph i mean you find this function so this is like this so if you want in a top if you want like a parrot greenish color so you can first you can keep in a green color ish and then you can move it so this is parrot green right so that's how you do and then you find this parrot green and then you find this rgb right here 50 to 50 and 5 just control c that means copy it and then control v that means paste it now you'll find the same shade as in this one so you can do this for any shade suppose you want like this pink and then you can just control c copy it and then control v paste it then you will find the pink color so this is how rgb works so um this is the end of the video if you have any questions or queries about this or feedback about my video so you can always comment it and i will be very very happy to answer those questions if you like this video please like share and subscribe bye